Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time. Mod time with Tony. It is the 7th of no September. I forget what month it is. We got a bunch of updates, some new mods out today. Let's get over to see them right now. We'll start with the updates. We got the random dolly. Fix English translation. That's all it did. Came out a few days ago. Next, we got the John Deere 4755. Tire swap. Good tire swap. Look at those three narrow triples there. That's some interesting tire options. Next, we got the Massey Ferguson 8700S. Various adjustments made. I love when they say that. I have no idea what they what they mean, but okay. Warning signs made foldable. Minor mirror position adjusted. Roof option added. Added animated steering wheel. We got the Mater Pack. Matra? Matra Pack? I don't know. Added the Atlas 21 and 24 and added a normal map. I don't know what a normal map is, but you got two other configurations for your Mater Pack, Matra Pack. The Z-Tour 627745. Front axle. I don't know what that means. Again, they added a front axle. I hope it had a front axle. They added a new cabin and a simple IC support for PC only. INT 5170 and 5210. Fixed power and mass. New animations, new configuration for weights. Universal New Holland four-wheel drives. Got new, more accurate rims for duels. Added precision farming, which is always good. Improved articulation, joint behavior. That is always good. Next, we got some map updates. Griffin, Indiana. And thank you to AJ Farmer. Save, safe update. So that is awesome. Thank you for putting that in there. I do appreciate it. Fix the train not arriving. I know there were some issues with the train contracts. So hopefully those are fixed. Floating trash at gas station. Visual glitches. Store vehicle spawn location. Run line 90 cent to be sellable. Train rail feed 100 bucks per hour. Utility department buying station price is 5% less. HH milling and GW elevator buying station prices to lowering to match max sell price. All right. Move collision on pole corner main farm. Uh, awesome. Moose poles closer to white fence and main farm road. Slurry for purchase at Lawson's. Sugar beet for purchase at GW Elevator. Custom workshop garage store build mode. Custom lighting and added sounds from Griffin 19. So again, no new save. Very cool. Thank you for fixing what is broken. I appreciate the hard work. Osada gets an update. Traffic was improved. That's it. Better traffic. And lastly, we got Welker Farms is back with 1.0.0.1. Bug fixed, XMLs, sound at dealer, and field three fixed. Fixed leg arms house. I don't know what that even is. Fixed other small bugs, but Welker's is back there. Fixed. Grab it. Now we get on to new stuff. Placeable refill tanks. Seed, Southford, Liquidford, and Herbicide Tanks placed on the map. I do like these mods. It was pointed out today, and I think it's an excellent point. They do need a Lime Tank addition to this package. So if you're listening, anybody's watching this, can we add a Lime Tank to this pack? Because it is nice. Again, all these are going to be all platforms. We only have one PC-only mod today, and we will point that out when we get to it. Lancy Boy puts out his sheep barn. Holds 65 sheep. It is 98,000 pounds. Probably dollars, too. Color selection, automatic water fill. Not a great fan of automatic water fill, but sheep entrance grill does get slippy in wintertime as water freezes. Don't know how that's going to work mechanically. That is kind of interesting that it's going to be ice. Interesting to see how that works. Let me know in the comments if you download this. Tell me if you're slip sliding on the ice. We got the Planet Modular BGA. This is back. Uh, there's tons of different pieces on this you can see in that middle picture all the different pieces the modular bj is back from 19. you can mix and match it how you want it put it together how you want i do love the picture on the right there about how the process works so if you're confused reference that picture so you know how the things work it is kind of expensive for all those different pieces parts it's the only drawback to me but you can make it as large or as big as you want and it is cool so if you're into the silage this is your mod Next, Eric Isaac was not done yesterday. He's got more random packs. This is the Canaviero Giulietta. Got a three axle and two axle. 
holds 28,000 for the two axle, the three axle holds 35,000, and they are 48 and 40,000 respective. A couple of sugar cane trailers. Next, we got a step deck trailer. It's a good looking trailer. Uh, you can unfold the ramps, adjust the width of the ramps, which is kind of nice. Um, holds vehicles, it says. You got to use the tension belt. It's just awesome. 35 grand. Color options, tension belts, ramps, three types of axles, wood floor, colors, connection nodes, plates, all the good stuff. It is it's a step deck trailer. We all know what these are. Put it on your put it on your save game. Next we got two trailers, the D46 and the D47 from Lizard. 46 is five grand, holds 4,200 to 6,700 liters. The 47 is seven grand, holds 4,200 to 6,700 liters. They're just different trailers. Different configurations. Some nice small trailer for your farm. Take them around, feed your animals with them. Nope, one more back. Random Bitrim. Another Eric Isaac mod. Again, there's so many different axle options on these. Look them up. Again, these are kind of South American random trailers. All types of different designs, axle options, running me around 70 grand, holding about 40 to 50,000 liters is your big one. Next, we got the Rollbet 150, which you got the sneak peek of, but we're back. The New Holland, it is 49 grand, only 70 horsepower. Pickup width is 2 meters, which is a fairly decent sized pickup. 125 centimeter bales it makes if you're a New Holland fan. Here's your round baler. Next, we got another one. 56 grand, 68 horsepower required. Here's your only PC mod of the day. This is your NRH Tramline Buster. It's a twin legged subsoiler, so two. Designed to reduce compaction field, but it can also be used to mark tram lines for sprayers. It only marks the two lines. It leaves the middle open there, as you can see. I don't know how you use that as a subsoiler, but if you want to mark tram lines, that's that's how you're going to do it. Oh, 150 horsepower required, 2.6 meters, but the 2.6, you're only going to do two lines. Next, we got the Lizard 55111. This is a truck. It's 56,490 bucks. Holds 8, 13, 18, or 23,000 liters. Colors and designs. It's kind of a basic looking looking truck, grain truck. Next, we got the John Deere 8000 series. This is my favorite mile of the day. I think this one looks really cool. It is 80 grand, 183 to 261 horsepower. It's got tire options, weight options, engine options, and internal animations. And I just want to show off this picture. As you can see, it's got some retro logos on it. Kind of kind of cool. Different colors on it, obviously. I think I'm going to have to have this one. And then lastly, we got the John Deere Green System Trailer Pack from JD Modding. Header trailers for the John Deere FD600-700 and the HD50F header series. Ranges from 6,500 to 12,000. Holds the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, and the 50-foot header trailers you get the green or the dark gray and you get a few different choices for decals some pretty cool header trailers for those big john deere headers that's your mods for the day my favorite is the john deere tractor tell me what yours is down in the comments if you like these videos hit that like hit that subscribe it does mean a lot to a new youtube channel if you hit those buttons so please do and if you got any comments, like I said, leave them down below. But until next time. Tony's my time. It's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony. And these are the mods. My time.